Hey girlies, it's Tammy. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be talking all things neutral, my favourite neutral eyeshadow palettes. So I do have neutral eyeshadow palettes with a pop of colour, which I absolutely love. For example, my Tropical Twilight palette, it's like half neutral, half colour. I do have palettes like that, but this is strictly neutral palettes. No pops of blue, no pops of like purple, nothing. They might have orange because to me, orange is still something you would mix with neutral eyeshadows and orange is a pretty neutral colour to me personally so these are in no particular order but I'm gonna start with affordable and then work my way up to high end so first of all Technic guys they're so affordable like look at these color stories such beautiful eyeshadow palettes they retail for around five to seven pounds you can find their products at different prices but still very affordable brand so my favorite neutral palette from them is this one which is called the heat is on i've mentioned it in so many palette videos this palette is beautiful this is perfect for every day if you just want to take you know like this color is very similar to my skin tone dust it in the crease to add a little bit of a shadow there go not that i'm going anywhere but if i wanted to go somewhere with a very light dusting of eyeshadow i could use that i can deepen and smoke out the look with these dark colors down here even a black if you want to do a smoky black liner gorgeous shimmers to correspond with the mattes in here like bronzes and golds and stuff like that really nice well-rounded palette that you can do so many neutral but also fiery warm orangey looks with as well so yeah definitely recommend checking this out and then another palette i got from technic recently which i fell in love with the color story and I'm wearing on my eyes today is the Technic uh, Bougie palette. That is such a cute name. These neutrals are more what I love. I love olivey. I love neutrals that are basically sandy, olive, my skin tone type of color, but just a little bit deeper. So this is what this palette looks like. And can you guys see these neutrals here? I use these in my crease and then I put this one on the outer V to darken a little bit. Then I put this bronzy gold all over the lid and then this one on the inner corner and that is my eye look today it's super quick and easy to do i mean they're not super pigmented where like you dab your brush on and you're like oh my god that's so much pigment but they build up nicely and they layer nicely they blend really well there's nothing i can complain about it's a really good quality palette let alone the fact that it's super affordable so yeah another neutral palette that i absolutely love is the juvia's place chocolates palette this i mentioned in my top palettes of 2020 video because this just has everything you need if you are into mini palettes you have a gorgeous dark chocolatey brown here you have a nice transitiony yellow toned peachy tone that's going to work for so many skin tones i love that it's not just a straight bone white color if you know what i mean it has this nice gorgeous creamy beige yellow undertone to it so it will just go with so many people's skin tones you have these two dark browns i do wish one of them was just like a black do you know what i mean because they are so similar and even on the eyes they're going to come across come across very similar on the eyes as well but aside from that i feel like it's such a well-rounded palette these are super affordable you know juvia's place the two shimmers that you get in here as well are really nice i do wish one of them was like a gold i mean if i designed the palette i would have tweaked a few things but overall i still really love the palette another favorite of mine is the september rose brew eyeshadow palette this has so many beautiful neutrals that will work for everyone's skin tone why can i not open it Okay, now this does have a little bit of pop of color, but nothing like blue or green or anything like that. You literally just get like this burgundy and the orange, but everything else and the yellowish type of mustard color. But I still consider those neutrals Can you because you can kind of neutral them down depending on what you blend them with. So even if you blended the yellow with one of these browns, it will kind of tone down the yellow and not make it like yellow, if you know what I mean. And the shimmers that you get in here, I feel like it's enough. Even though it's only two, it's enough. You can put either one one on your lid to go with any of these mattes and it will go you can even just do full matte looks which are super easy the quality in here is absolutely beautiful and yeah it's just one of my favorite neutral eyeshadow palettes every single time i want to do a neutral look i have to stop myself reaching for this one because i have to remind myself i have other neutral eyeshadow palettes in my collection that i need to use another kind of new palette in my collection that i used the other day and i absolutely fell in love with the pigmentation in here doll beauty don't sleep on their eyeshadows 
those. So their first palettes, I was like, mm, okay, as much as I love the color story, I have one of them. The packaging is just so bulky and big. It's like a big heart-shaped palette, which I have, and I do love the quality of the actual eyeshadows inside. But because of the packaging, I just don't ever pull it out and use it because it's just so bulky and big and stuff. But anyway, they came out with this palette recently. It's a normal shaped palette. It's called Dolly Mixtures, which is so cute if you know the sweet Dolly Mixture. And it is a neutral palette, but it's not a boring neutral. They have pops of orange in here. They have a black. They have these really cute um, corally type of colors, a yellow, really easy palette to use, but also really pigmented, really, really nice formula in here. There's no shimmers in here, which I mean, it's fine. Typically when I'm doing a neutral look, I'll just use my highlighter that day on my inner corner and I'm fine with doing an all matte eye look. So what I'll do is put like one of these in the crease, build on it with the dark brown. If I'm feeling really, really glam, take a little bit of the black on the outer V. But yeah, I absolutely love the colors in here and I love that the packaging is super easy to just take with you if you are going anywhere. But if not, it's easy to pull out of your collection and just use without like needing your whole table. Can't wait to see what else Doll Beauty does because their quality of eyeshadows really really nice and now that they're doing well I'm hoping they continue to do normal sized palettes. Another palette that you guys might not have heard me talk about but I have used a couple times and the more that I look at it I'm like do you know what I actually really like you I just don't like the packaging. <laughs> I don't like when my packaging have people on it. If it's not Huda Beauty's eyes or a cartoon like you can kind of forget it. I just don't want to see someone's random face like staring at me I just don't I don't like seeing people on my palette aside from the woman staring at me every time I pull this palette out the colors in here are actually so beautiful and really nice deep dark colors so they work perfectly for my skin tone there's no unnecessary colors which I hate when I when there's like a Colourpop palettes for example like as much as I love Colourpop yeah I wish that their palettes would start looking like this like I wish they would just start having some depth to them if this was their palette they'd call this like the deep and dark and sexy and mysterious palette and it's like no it's just a neutral palette for darker skin calm down <laughs> anyways this is actually by a brand called studio makeup i don't know if you guys have heard of them before i had it before i received this in pr but it is such a beautiful color story that i definitely recommend you guys check out if you are into these colors okay so getting more into the high end section of things now another palette that's kind of newish to my collection is this one by spectrum i'm not quite sure what it's called because it doesn't have the label on it but i know it's from a recent collection they did around halloween because i did use this also in a halloween eyeshadow look but um yeah this palette is warm tone um warm tone dreams really nice quality in here as well i've only used it a couple times but it is a really nice palette and it is one that made it through my declutter and i can definitely see myself using this a bit more as much as i can knowing the collection that i have it's not like i'm able to use up palettes or anything like that okay so this palette i don't know how it made it onto this pile i think it's just because i like the color story but i haven't actually used this palette compared to the others i haven't used this enough to put it in my favorite neutral palettes this is the Huda Beauty nude medium palette and the colors in here are absolutely beautiful out of all of the Huda Beauty palettes that she does this would be my go-to neutral color story but I just haven't used this palette enough to say that it's my favorite neutral palette so yeah we're just gonna forget about that one for now it might make its way into a future neutral eyeshadow palette but at the moment I just haven't used it enough to say it's my favorite this one however tried and true I think this is everyone's one of everyone's favorite um kind of neutral eyeshadow palette it's Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam. This will never get old to me. I absolutely love the tones in here, the warm tone browns at the bottom and the shimmers, this gorgeous burgundy, dark brown, chocolatey brown in the corner here. You have a black if you need it. I don't really use this color. I could have lived without this mauve type of color, but I do really love this half of the palette. And if you did ask me, Tammy, I need a high end neutral palette. What do you recommend? This would be one that I would recommend. So yeah, I do absolutely love this palette. I love the formula as well. Well, really easy to just dust in the crease and go super easy to blend really pigmented shades and they go deep enough which is great so that is my last neutral palette that i'm going to recommend to you guys let me know if you have any of these all of them i don't know let me know some of you are palette collectors like i am out there so let me know your favorite neutral palette in the comments make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it let me know if you want me to do a colorful palette version of course i think the last one i did was in 2019 so let me know if you want an updated version Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Take care. Bye.